Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. This is a sad one, and um, we're hearing it from the family. What really happened to Pastor Taiwo Dukoya? What really happened? What led to the death? Remember, he died in the U.S. yesterday. We brought you up to speed to the fact that Pastor Taiwo uh, is going to join his maker, and we told you all that. But what we did not tell you was what happened, what led to the death. Okay, that was what we did not tell you. And right now, that matter is before us. You know, what really happened, you know. I mean, we person die. He don't old, he sick, he not wear, in operation. What thing really happened? Now, that place, so now we day. Now, of course, we say, we let you know, say, now, what thing happened? Be this. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Breaking. The cause of death of Pastor Taiwo Dukoya has been revealed. New fact has emerged on the circumstances surrounding the death of Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, founder of the Fountain of Life Church. Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, according to the church, died in the United States of America, U.S. of A, on Monday at 67, though the church did not disclose how he died. But according to the nation, the respected preacher has health issues mainly triggered by the personal tragedies he has suffered. A source close to the family said he, did, he really didn't get over the loss he suffered. He tried to be strong, but there is a limit to what a man can take. Pastor Taiwo is, a, is fondly, Pastor Taiwo, as is fondly called, lost his charismatic first wife, Bimbo, at the Sosoliso plane crash in 2005. She was age 45 at that time. The death left the pastor who shared a well-known synergy with the wife who he met at the University of Ibadan as an undergraduate shattered. Pastor was more devastated by what people said after Pastor Bimbo died than what really happened. Many people said nasty things that suddenly that's that saddened his heart he was touched by the by the by their words and the comment well he had no choice and decided to move on despite the heartbreak it took a lot of talking it look it took a lot of talking for him to decide to remarry the source shared on november the 9 2021 death came knocking on his door again this time he took his second wife. Ah, now oh, wow. The South African, the South African Ewen, Nanta, who died of cancer, was age 47 and had two children for the pastor, the preacher. Pastor, if Pastor Bimbo's death was shat, uh, has shattered Pastor pa, Pastor, Pastor Nedi's dynasty was a was more technically knockout. He knocked Pastor Taiwo down and out. He was inconsolable. He was very heartbroken, bothered about what people would say. It left him totally lifeless. There was nothing we could tell him. It took something deeper out of him. And some of us became afraid for him. When he lost his twin sister a few weeks after his wife's death, so said it was more or less the last straw. For someone who has lost two important women in his life, it was tough to take to take the death of someone who we shares the womb with from childhood. It was a personal humbling tragedy. He would just gaze for hours and seem to become completely disinterested in things around him. It was unusual to become totally lost in conversation and issues. I believe sometimes he died in himself at some point, even while he was living. He tried to put up his strong face for the church, but he was human. He was dead within, and he was only a it was only a matter of time that he lived for almost two years to show strength for of his character. The family source explained the death challenge it challenged him. It was... Lant started showing, knocking him off and on. And that's why he went to the U.S. for medical trip and he could not really recover and come out of what happened. He later died there.
You see, when things happen to people, not just the rush they carry, they talk. Oh. Not they carry the rush, they talk. No, we just open your mouth. They talk anyhow. You know why? May you not make a mistake. Because you don't know what the people they go through. Mm, you don't know what the people they go through. People talk, 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 talk. Remember that's a solution. And he has married two important women in his life. In his lifetime. This is only so flight that time. We know it's people talk. Not be small thing. People talk. Like say nine cosam. Like say nine cosam. After four years, he can't move on. People call talk, encourage pastor. He can't move on. Say where we talk. And our twins will not forget. And then I tie with tie why can't they not forget to? He can't move on. Try, try hard as best possible. And so pastor try. But <laughs> They say put up brief face for the church, but inside, inside them, now they know what they go through. You know, say now we should, I know where they should, they pinch them. They say if we try, self, say carry both face for the next two years, even after, you know, uh, the second wife die. And they get two children, no? they get two children. So those children now have become orphans. Orphan, I personally not get papa, I not get mama. Not because they choose so, not because the parents don't go. I be more pray for them. I they beg you, not take and take and lightly. You don't know what it mean for a child not to grow up without their parents. <laughs> you see your people say, "Why they respect?" Oh, leave and I because say you did it. Eh, where the person still respect the, the Pekin, still take care of the Pekin. Look above his fault and SS is saying a child is growing up. Is only going through a phase, only going through a stage. Understand with the child. Now that time you go not say that person help you take care of your Pekin. Oh. Not be a little born person, not be a big person, mama, not be a person, papa. Now, who take care of person where? Help you go through life where? Might be, you know, might be your parents. So, so these are some of the things that have, have happened. And Pastor Taiwo, it, it's not, it's not funny. It's not funny. Please pray for the children. Pray for the children. Please pray for them. That God will grant them the fortitude to bear the loss. You know, and God will help them. That they will turn out where? Mm -hmm. You know what it mean for a child to grow up without daddy, without mommy. You know what in that thing mean. I'm not sure say you know. I'm not sure say you know. If you never go through and you may not be able to totally, completely get the get you know get the whole gist of. But this is what has happened to you know to some children, you know, children of Pastor Taiwo in recent times, you know. So please, eh? now which they say now they say now the continuous heartbreak. You know, they can say just too much, just too much, just too much, just too much. So please, my lovely people, let's continue to please pray for the family and give them all the support we can in every way, humanly speaking, possible. Okay, let's support them. Let's ensure that these children, you know, if you are within reach to help them, please help them well. Okay, do what you can. Not to wear your eye with your help. God bless. Bye for now.